welcome you to Ridgemont High School. The, Go the Golden Gophers getting ready for their 2015 season on this Kenton Moose Lodge football preview. It's the warm up. And first, we're joined by the new head coach, Todd Burris, a Ridgemont graduate. And now back, how's it feel to be home with the home football team? Oh, I love it. Uh, I've been helping Mike out for the past three years. And uh, I got the opportunity this year to be head coach. And I, I jumped at the opportunity. So I'm really looking forward to helping the kids out. Um, more this year than I have in the past. How much were you able to do with another job and just being an assistant coach? How, just get up after work sometimes, basically? Yeah, pretty much. It was after work. You spend weekends uh, putting together plays and coming up with drills and basically doing research, but it fills up your evenings and your, and your weekends, that's for certain. Tell us about your assistant coaching staff. Some of the same guys as last year or new, new guys? Yeah, we've got uh, Coach Smith and Coach Nauman. They're both back from last year. Uh, Coach Nauman's our defensive coordinator. Coach Smith's our offensive coordinator again this year. Um, we've got a couple new guys out here, and uh, we just brought a new guy on here to, to help us. He graduated from Bluffton uh, in 2014, played football up there. So we're really looking forward to any support he can give us as well. Do you see Ridgemont having a similar offense and defensive sets, or are you going to change stuff up a little bit? Well, it'll have a, a lot of similarities, um, offensive and defensively. There will be some changes, subtle changes couple of drastic changes. Um, I won't go into detail, obviously, <laughs> sure about enough. that, but there will be some changes. Corey Eversell has been starting a quarterback forever, it seems like. He's back for this team, uh, a good defensive player as well. What do you expect out of Corey? Well, actually, year? Corey didn't come back with us this oh, year. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, uh, he decided he wanted to focus on uh, basketball, okay. and he's doing that. We actually, uh, Trenton Sparks is going to be our quarterback this year. Um, he, he quarterbacked in junior high. He was quarter, uh, Corey's backup last year. And uh, he's actually looking really good out here this year. He's, he's mobile, he's got a strong arm, and he sees the field pretty well. So I'm looking for big things from him this year. Justin, Justice McGew graduated, but Cameron Smith was really 1A and 1B when you talk yeah. about in the backfield, so he will carry the load, I'm sure. Yep, uh, Cameron, he had 996 yards rushing last year. Not to put a bullseye on his back, but uh, <laughs> he did uh, pretty good as a sophomore last year. And Justice, obviously, his yards will be missed this year. Um, but we've got some we've got some other running backs, Jace Magoo and uh, Xavier Magoo in the backfield. Um, Jace is uh, is Justice's brother, and Z is his cousin. So um, they'll be getting uh, they'll get be getting a handful of carries as well. So it won't just be Cameron in the backfield this year. Looking around the Northwest Central Conference, uh, Lehman Catholic had a great run last year. Obviously, Fort Laramie, a, a good team as well. Um, they'll be en exiting the league in a couple years here. But kind of how do you how do you see the landscape this year? Well, I think you just mentioned mentioned the, the big players there. I think everybody's really looking up from third place at this point with with uh, all the talent and the size that they've got over there in that area. It's not just those teams. We've got Marion Local over there and Coldwater. <laughs> Something about that part of the state right now that we need to find out what's in the water. <laughs> Have you brought out the stories yet of when you were here at Ridgemont? Or are you gonna, you'll leave those in the reserves for now. Oh, I, I, I bring them out every now and then. So I, it's... It's been a while, and all the kids just kind of look at you with a blank face like, this is 2015, <laughs> yeah. Coach. Let's get past it. 1980 what, Coach? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. What would you say the strength of this team is early on? Uh, the strength is it's going to be our, our running game, obviously. Uh, we did lose a lot of seniors off the line last year, but we had a lot of juniors that got some playing time, and that's really helped them out. We've got a couple new guys out here as well that's going to help us out. So our running game is going to be pretty strong, but our passing game is right there with Trenton and his ability to see and read the field. So defensively, um, we've got a good, uh, strong core of linebackers coming back. Our DBs are pretty tough. And again, we're replacing a lot of seniors on the defensive line. So overall, I think we're going to be, be pretty even all the way around. Taking a look at your schedule, Van Lu, the, the traditional opener, that, that's kind of become a nice little rivalry game, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, we like playing Van Lu. They're kind of in the same boat that we are. They're a small farming community, and you, you got to deal with what you what you can get. And, you know, playing them is, is always a challenge every year, and I look forward to it every year. And a couple road trips to Mount Gilead and Buckeye Central. Uh, not too long before the NWCC opener uh, against Perry. Yeah. Do you get, get itching for those league games? Well, you always look forward to getting in the league and, and see what kind of talent is actually out there every year. Um, Lima Perry last year was our last game of the year, and 
that was the big rain and snowstorm that we had, and that was that was an evening that I think all the kids last year will remember. I know I'll never forget it. <laughs> Certainly will. Riverside then, uh, Hard Northern, a new league opponent, Fort Warmy, Waynesfield, Goshen, Lehman Catholic, and then finish off here at home against USV. Is that the big rivalry game against Upper Soda? I wouldn't really call it a big rivalry game. I mean, we've got USV, we've got Hard Northern that's okay. in the county now. And I think, you know, the kids know each other. They see each other at the fair every year, and they run around. Uh, some of them run around all summer with each other. So it's one of those things where it's kind of, uh, you could call it a rivalry, but I think it's just everybody knows everybody, and they look forward to getting that opportunity to play each other. And then you add social media to the mix as well, and, and these kids really do know each other. Has, yeah. Have rivalries, you know, kind of gone down a little bit, would you say? It's... I, I'm stuttering around here. I, I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> I understand. But Just the I, landscape I, 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 I of think, high school. I, I think you get you know a couple kids out there that that really want to to spur things on, and, mm -hmm. and that gets out there. But at the same time, you've got a lot of people out there that are friends with the people from those schools, and they go out there and you know they'll talk to each other on the field at timeout and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's little things like that that will call it the rivalry. It's not <laughs> it's not the 1970s with Ridgemont and Ben Logan and Ridgemont <laughs> right. and Fairbanks and things like that, but it's it's a lot different nowadays. Yeah, no question about it. Well, what's one or two things you guys really need to do better the next three weeks before that opener uh, as you take on Van Lee? Uh, uh We need to get repetition. Okay. Uh, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of things in there that are familiar, but we're throwing new stuff in there. We've got to get the repetition, get the timing down, uh, both offensively and defensively. So we get that down, I think we'll be more than ready for Van Lu in, in the following game. All right, Todd Burris, the Ridgemont head coach, starting things off here in our NWCC preview, brought to you by the Kenton Moose Lodge. When we return, Patrick Handler sits down with some of the Gophers here on WOS. Welcome back to the warm-up presented by the Kenton Moose. I'm Patrick Kamler, still talking Ridgemont football. Got a couple of Golden Gopher juniors with me. Uh, we have Cameron Smith and Xavier McGew. And guys, uh, first of all, just kind of getting started with uh, practice and getting going for the season, what are some things that you guys specifically are working on? Xavier, I'll start with you. Working on getting the fundamentals, master the fundamentals, and go hard. And about you? Uh, we're working on definitely trying to work on getting in shape and working on our receivers are working on their hands and backs are working on their footwork and getting all that stuff mastered so we can move to the next level. You have a new coach. Uh, has there been any real changes in how you guys have approached the game and preparation? Definitely. We've been, well, everything's basically new. We're going a lot harder. We're going. 110% all the time, and I think all the mentality starting to change around here for the good and all that stuff. What's uh, What specifically has, has Coach Burris kind of brought? Xavier, I'll field this one to you. What has he brought that's different from what you guys may have done in the past? A lot more effort and overall confidence, and we've prepared a lot in the off season. It's been taken a lot more seriously more focus one of the things that we ask a lot is if we're talking to seniors we'll kind of ask them so what's the senior leadership been like on the team with you guys being juniors uh, the seniors on your team what what has leadership looked like to them and have you guys been able to provide some leadership for the kids that are coming up well we only have well one senior out there right now we have another one that is supposed to play and really all the leadership's been with the juniors this year and we've been doing our best to get on the younger classmen, get them up to where they need to be. As you guys start to get ready for, for week one, have you, what have you looked for in terms of Van Lue? Do you guys have, that, have them first? Are you guys looking that far? Are you even thinking about week one yet, or are you still just trying to work on the fundamentals? Uh, we've talked about it at the end of practice, but right now we're just trying to get all the fundamentals down, and then we'll go there. Yeah, we got to build a foundation before we can finish the house off. Sounds good. Cameron Ziff, thank you for you guys. Thanks for joining us. When we come back, we'll have a couple more Golden Gophers to talk right here on the warm up. Stay tuned.
Welcome back to the warm up presented by the Kenton Moose. I'm Patrick Hamler and we have a few more Golden Gophers to talk. Uh, Ridgemont football coming up this fall. We've got Cade McKinley and Trent Sparks. Guys, thanks a lot for being here. Trent, I want to start with you. Now you're uh, you're switching it up a little bit. You're wide receiver last year. You moved on to quarterback. Talk about how how has that transition been for you? How has it been going from wide receiver to quarterback? Well, it wasn't that hard because since last year I was a backup quarterback, so I still got a couple reps in through there, and it wasn't quite hard. What sort of things did you learn as a backup last year that you're able to take and apply to this upcoming season? Um, about how behind the quarterback is like it's a lot different game when you're the quarterback. It's different. I talked to uh, a couple of guys earlier. I talked to Cam Smith and Xavier McGue about just what has been different with a new coach this year. And I'll ask you guys kind of the same thing. What has been the uh, differences that you guys have seen this offseason leading up to practice than maybe what had existed in the past? I'll start with you. You can answer this one. Uh, we just got to learn a different system, like offense and defense. We're changing everything up this year, and it's just a lot different. He just wants to do it different ways than what we had before in the past. I agree with him. It's all everything's different. We're changing up a lot of things. Anything spe uh, specific you guys could talk about right now? Like, what are you changing up specifically? Like our whole defense is different this year, and then we have a bunch of different blocking schemes on offense because we're kind of an undersized team than what we have been in the past. What specifically have you guys been working on in practice? Have you gotten started? Just getting faster, being able to go without needing any breaks or anything like that, just conditioning. Fundamentals for me, you know, going back to quarterback, got to learn a lot more fundamentals than receiver is. Had you been quarterback? And I knew you were backup last year. Had you, how much, I guess, experience playing quarterback do you have? Well, I, when I was in Little Gophers, I played quarterback. And uh, junior high, I played quarterback. And I broke my collarbone in junior high, so that was only half a season. So what about this team this year uh, it excites you guys, maybe fires you up? Like what is it about the football season that has you guys excited about getting started? I just like playing football, you know, and just fun playing with but yeah, the guys. Just being able to play with my friends and go out there and just compete against other teams from other schools. You guys uh, looking forward to week one about what Van Lu is going to have for you guys? Yeah, I think it'll be a pretty good game. What about you? I think it's going to be a pretty good game. Looking forward to it. Should be a good one. That is uh, Kate McKinley and Trent Sparks, guys. Thanks for joining. That's going to do it for the warm up here on WOSN. Want to thank you for watching. Want to thank Andy Lynch and Joe Vernick also for helping us out. And we will see you next time here on WOSN.